Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this brand new 2022 Ford Mustang. This particular Mustang is a GT Premium, finished in Agate Black Metallic. This has the 401A package, which is the high package, meaning this Mustang is fully, fully loaded, fully equipped. We're going to take a quick walk around the outside here, starting with the front end, where we do have these full LED headlights, which also includes the LED fog lights down there at the bottom. Nice aggressive styling here with the Mustang. Gives you that nice mean look. Nice blacked out look here. We do have gloss black grille. And if we come on to the side, we do have the GT Performance Package equipped on this particular Mustang here, which does include these 19 inch gloss black wheels. And that is wrapped in a 255 40 uh, summer performance tire. Now the rear tires are a little bit wider at a 275 and we do have that 255 up front and that performance package also includes the six piston Brembo brake system. So it is a larger brake system than the uh, without the package. Gives you lots and lots of stopping power. We have kind of that fully blacked out look with those wheels and of course the black exterior paint. There's the 5.0 liter badge there as we do have the 5 liter V8 with the GT model body colored mirrors as well as the door handles and the mirrors also include the side mirror indicator as well as the blind spot system up there in the corner. And this particular Mustang is a fastback or a coupe so it is also available as a convertible. Uh, again this one is the coupe version. Again slightly wider tires in the rear here at a 275 versus the 255 in front as the Mustang is rear wheel drive so we do have a little bit more traction with those uh, wider rear tires. Nice LED taillights here and also does have the sequential turn. You also have that GT badge there on the back with the reverse camera right above it there. We do have the active valve performance exhaust. So there are four different exhaust modes you can choose to kind of choose the loudness of it. You also have the Magna Ride damping system. This Mustang is basically fully, fully loaded. You also have rear parking sensors that go along the bottom of the bumper as well. And if we take a look at the interior of this Mustang GT, now because we do have the premium model, it means we do have leather and we do have the upgraded Recaro bucket seats. Now, so this is the upgraded seats, about an $1,800 option from the standard uh, sort of bucket seats. But these here are very uh, nicely bolstered. It keeps, you, it keeps you in place when you're going around corners and it does have the Recaro badge and they're up on the backrest and they do look super, super good as well. But if we take a look at the door panel, you have some nice accent stitching here. Of course, all the nice leather wrapped. All the power operations right here. Of course, mirrors, locks, windows, all that. We do have a Mustang door sill plate right there. It does have a stainless steel uh, finish underneath, although it's just covered up just so it doesn't get scratched up. We also have our headlight controls over here and also the fog lights. We also have a little hidden storage cubby in here. But if we step inside, take a look at the key fob. We do have a keyless fob, which does include the rear trunk release on there. And push button start. You'll hear that 5 liter V8 engine roar to life, which makes 460 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. Very, very powerful engine. Very quick car. And we do have the six-speed manual transmission with active rev matching. Now, there's also a 10-speed automatic version if you want the automatic, but we do have the six-speed manual here in this particular Mustang. Fantastic transmission. And again, does have active rev matching, uh, which is definitely nice. A little more convenient if you don't want to have to manually do it. But we'll start here in this nice leather-wrapped heated steering wheel. We do have controls right here for sort of the volume. And we also have adaptive cruise control, which is included with the 401A package. Uh, so that's included with that and also the regular cruise control there. And then we also have controls right here for the fully digital My Color gauge cluster. And that is also included with that 401A package. Uh, we also have the button right here. And this will activate some of the Mustang sort of buttons here. We have exhaust mode, which of course is the most important. We have quiet, normal, sport, and track mode for the exhaust. Kind of increasingly make it louder. We also have track apps. This gives you an acceleration timer, brake performance. We have a line lock system, lap timer. We also have a performance shift indicator. So if you're nearing red line, it will give you a little shift light. We also have launch control, which you can change the RPMs from 3000 all the way to 5500. And there's that active rev matching. So you can turn that on or off. 
uh, so whatever you prefer. And there's also gauges, so this will kind of give you the gauge detail. So we can scroll down here, we have, you can see, you can basically see everything you'll ever need to know about all types of different measurements and pressures and temperatures, that kind of thing there. We also have the My Color settings. You can adjust the, not only the, the colors here in the gauge cluster, like the, the dials or the, even the little blue part right there, uh, but you can also adjust the color of these gauges. Uh, the ambient lighting and also the the Mustang door sill plate there so you can adjust colors of everything that can be adjusted individually or can be adjusted uh, and, and together and combined or you can do it however you want uh, it's very customizable you can even make your own color it gives you a little color wheel that you can do uh, so if we go into primary so now we change everything to orange we'll do it live here we have red there's even different my colors so you can choose your own color uh, it's super cool and you can go create that will give you a color wheel and you can make your own color uh, so it's very very customizable and we also have cluster appearance this will kind of give you uh, the different views with the uh, with the gauge cluster now I'll show you that right now so we do have drive modes down here which will activate the different views for the gauge cluster so right now we're in normal mode but if you put it into sport plus you'll see it kind of changes the tachometer a little bit so it kind of changes the uh, RPMs, and then you can put it into track mode, and that will make the gear super big and, uh, and prominent, so you can see it when you're on the racetrack. Speed over there, and then sort of like an F1 style uh, tachometer there, so you can really see your RPMs. So you can change it with the drive mode, or you can do it individually, so it's very customizable. Uh, Ford did a great job with that the gauge cluster right there. We do have the Sync 3 8-inch display, uh, which just include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We also have built-in navigation right there. The climate control system, uh, so it's activated through the screen, or you can also use the buttons down here. So we have a dual zone automatic system uh, that includes heated steering wheel, which is activated through right here. We also have various apps, again, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and all the various settings in here as well. Ford Pass Connect right up top. And down here we do have that push button start nice aluminum finish here ford puts with these toggles and they're like some fighter jet style switches here we also have traction control the steering modes uh, so we do have steering modes that are selectable uh, in individual modes again your six speed manual again does feature active rev matching which is definitely nice nice manual parking brake also have a mustang little plaque up there open up the glove box Nice large glove box and the owner's manual is kind of hidden up into the uh, little cubby up there as well. Now the Mustang does have back seats. Uh, we can either use this lever here or there's actually a little lever on the back of the seat here that we can use uh, to kind of lift it forward. And now you can see you do have access into the rear seats. Although there is not a particularly large amount of room, uh, you do have the back seats if you need them in a pinch. Uh, and again, they are leather, so just like the fronts, they're nice leather. Um, and there's two seats back here, not three, so you have two sort of bucket style seats. The last thing I do want to show you is the trunk area. So we have a little popper under here we can use, or and you can use the key fob as well. So we do have a set of carpeted mats that goes with this. And uh, surprisingly, the Mustang actually has a quite a large trunk. It actually does go quite far back. And the rear seats do fold flat. Uh, so you can actually put the seats down so you can have even more space uh, if you need it back here. So if you're interested in this particular Mustang GT Premium, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford. So feel free to give us a call or you can visit us at McPheeFord.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.